What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard One here. Today is November 14, 2010, and an application has been released for all of us jailbroken iPhone 3G and iPhone, iPhone 2G users to do boot Android 2.2 Froyo on your iOS device. This works with iOS 4.0, iOS 4.1, 3.1.3, all that good stuff there. And you have to be jailbroken with either Ponage Tool, Red Snow, Snow Breeze, or Black Rain. That's the one there. And obviously, Lime Rain and Green Poison don't work with of iPhone 3G. And of course, iPhone 2G, because that can't even run iOS 4.1. So, if you're not sure if you have a 3GS or a 3G, you could take a look on the back of your iPhone and you will see if your iPhone and all that stuff down there is shiny. Now, what I mean by this is if it's shiny like the Apple logo is right there, the text is shiny, then that means that you have a 3GS. See, mine is not shiny, which means it's 3G. It's not shiny like the Apple logo. Another thing you could do here is launch the camera application. And if you have a 3GS, you'll see a little slider here to toggle the camera and the camcorder. But if you have a 3G, nothing will be there. So that's how you could tell. So now you don't need a computer to install Android and dual boot it. However, I do recommend that you back up your iPhone before doing any of this. So all you need to do is plug in your USB to 30 pin dock connector cable, open up iTunes, and right click on your iPhone and click back up. And it's simply going to back up your iPhone. Now, I recommend that you have at least one to two gigabytes of free space on your iPhone. So as you see, I do not have that much space left on my iPhone. So I'm just going to delete some apps here for now that I don't really use that often to free up some space. Okay, so once you're done freeing up some space and whatnot, what I recommend that you do is keep your iPhone plugged into a power source, such as a computer or your wall adapter, so it has power while doing this process, because this does suck away the battery life of your iPhone while doing it, and if you have low battery, they may, that may cause some issues. Another thing that you need is a Wi-Fi connection that is stable, doesn't time out if you have to use someone else's Wi-Fi, but I got a new router, so it's all stable and stuff, yay. So... What you're going to do is launch Cydia on your iPhone. And of course, we all know that Cydia takes years to pop up. So I'm just going to pause this video. Okay, so once Cydia has finished loading all of its data and whatnot, you're going to tap the Manage button on the bottom of Cydia. And then tap Sources. Next, tap Edit. And then tap Add. And you're going to add the source. R-E-P-O dot n e o n and let me just check this k o a k o a l a dot co dot co dot u k meh there it is Okay, so once City has finished adding that source, as you see, it got a few errors there in the process. That's because of my other sources. I just have to SSH those out. Anyway, what you're going to do is tap on that source, and you'll see bootlegs. That's the only thing on that list. And you're going to tap that. Oh, I swear if City crashes, I'm going to be pissed. Yes, it didn't. And you're going to tap install. And then tap confirm. Okay, so once Cydia has finished, you're going to tap return to Cydia. And then go back to the home screen. Stupid iOS 4.1, so slow. iOS 4.2 better be fast. I haven't installed on this iPhone yet. Only on my iPod. I'm going to kill those apps. You don't have to. And you'll see there it is. Bootlace. Simply launch it.
So now large bootlace once again. Okay, now you get a little welcome message. Can we have to install something called opening boot or whatever it's called? So let's find it wherever it may be. Oh, there it is down there. It says open boot. And you'll see this will come up open boot here and simply tap install. And it'll say warning open bootable is about to install open boot or however you pronounce it. Okay, now it'll say some other stuff. That was just a no SIM card install message. Nothing to worry about there. And it has successfully installed, and I can remove or configure it. So now we want to tap the Android tab on the bottom here. And you'll see the little Android thingy, whatever his name is. And you're going to tap install. So now it'll come out with these thingies. And this definitely takes a very long time. As you see, it has finished installing. Now, what you need to do is tap the quick boot tab on the bottom, and now you'll see a few things. You'll actually only see two things, and just tap the Android little Android guy, and you're going to tap yes. So now we're booting into Android. I could smell the open source. I love Apple, but never tried Android before. So I wonder how open source is going to be. Okay, so here is Android, as you see. Now it's telling me to please insert a SIM card. As you know, I do not have a SIM card. How do I unlock this? Okay, so now I just have unlocked. Still figuring out how how Android works. Well, I only had it for like two seconds now. And you see that this is indeed Android right here. Don't know how it works. I'm very confused now. Ooh, I think that's a brightness slider. That's cool. Okay. Anyway, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.